you guys, we're back. It's another Diane 35 video. I'm gonna do an update. I've been on Diane 35 for over a year now. If you haven't seen my first Diane 35 video, I'll link it right up here. The reason why I'm doing another Diane 35 video, my laptop here with the questions, is because I got so many questions and at the end of my video, I asked you guys to message me if you had any questions had so many amazing conversations with people on Instagram. So I just thought, you know what, I need to do, I need to do another video. So I'm just gonna go through the questions and I'm gonna answer them one by one. Okay, can you please tell me if I can take these pills? Because I'm confused. I don't know if I will have side effects. I don't have too much acne, but I don't want any acne. I've had acne for a long time. So, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Can you take these pills? Number one, before we start the video. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm simply another gal with PCOS. So if you have PCOS and you're getting acne, acne is just a sign specifically when we have PCOS that our hormones, our male hormones, our androgens are a little bit high. The reason why women are particularly prescribed Diane 35 is because Diane 35 blocks androgens, so it blocks male hormones, and it has estrogen in it and very few other birth controls actually have estrogen in it so it is one of those kind of hormone balancers do i think that you should take it i don't know because i'm not your doctor i don't know your life i don't know your story if you're just taking diane 35 for acne i would say try to eliminate gluten, dairy, sugar, and soy from your diet first and see if that relieves your acne because my biggest acne causes were hormonal meat and dairy. So when I eliminated that and sugar, when I eliminated those things from my diet, I found that my acne went away without a birth control. So something for you to try. And someone says, okay, hi, I want to be pregnant. I'm trying for the last two years and now I have a cyst. So my doctor advised me these tablets. What do I do? I'm so worried, please tell me. I understand having a cyst. When you're on birth control, a cyst will go away, technically. I remember being off of birth control and I had a cyst burst. It was terrible. I'm still alive to tell the story. That wasn't the worst experience in my life, so don't feel scared. I understand trying to get pregnant. I think balancing your hormones is the best way to get pregnant. Doing it naturally is obviously pretty ideal. A way to actually do that, and I think we're gonna say this within every answer, is looking at your diet. Doing a low glycemic index diet or even a ketogenic diet are ways that I got my period back naturally before going on this pill. I still have a great diet. I'm gonna link all my diet videos in the description because I really think it'll solve a lot of these questions and problems. If you're trying to get pregnant, maybe go on the pill for a little bit just to manage your cyst and then have a really nice diet while you're on the pill. And so when you wanna go off and you wanna try to get pregnant, you already are taking the supplements, you are already eating a clean diet. And again, I'm gonna link all my supplements, all my diet stuff in the description. So you can understand what I'm talking about because this will be a really long video. Um, here says, when I tried, I only got some spotting in the name of periods. What about your periods? Before I got periods of two days, but now nothing. What do I do? Before this, I was on a birth control called Marvlon. I knew that my PCOS symptoms were bad and I was in trouble because I wasn't menstruating even on a birth control. And birth controls are just simulated periods. So to not menstruate while you're on a birth control is not good. <laughs> so I was like, oh shoot, and this is when I was eating badly. I was like, okay, I think I need to change my diet now because if I'm not menstruating on a birth control, then I'm definitely not gonna menstruate off of a birth control. So if you are spotting and you're not getting periods or they're going away and you're on a birth control, I would say look at your diet, look at your exercise, look at your stress habits. Stress can cause um, a huge, huge lack of period. So I'm also going to link my ebook down in the description. It's free and it's the three foundational ways that I learned how to treat PCOS. It includes exercise and what it does for your body. It includes the diets that helped me and what that did for my body. I think all of this boils down to diet and exercise and the other factors outside of birth control. If you're just taking birth control and you're not eating well, I don't think that your PCOS symptoms are going to be relieved. No matter what medication we're taking, we need to combine it with a healthy lifestyle and a healthy diet. Moesha Gordon says, great, and I like your energy. Thanks, Moesha. <laughs> Appreciate it. Tash says, hey, can I reduce body muscle mass on these pills also? 
It's an interesting question. This birth control specifically is meant to balance your hormones. When I was off of this birth control, I had a lot of testosterone in my body. When I went to get my blood tested, I had all testosterone and no estrogen. So that's kind of a window into what my body was like. Now that I'm on the birth control for over a year, I haven't necessarily gained weight. The first six months, I probably retained a little bit of water, I won't lie. Uh, now it's evened out a bit, but I noticed that I carry more weight in my arms. A little bit more weight over here. I've never had breasts before, ladies. <laughs> so I carry weight here um, right now. My stomach is flat. I did carry more weight in my stomach, and I still probably do still carry more weight in my stomach. So I, I'd say that the muscle distribution is very different different now. We're not very different, but I think they're definitely, I can see a difference between having all male hormones versus having estrogen in my body. Obviously there's a bit of weight distribution differences. I don't necessarily, if you can like reduce your muscle mass, unless you completely stopped being active. I don't know your particular lifestyle, but I would say that my muscle mass slash fat distribution is different on and off of the pill. Lana says, hey, did your acne come back afterwards? And if so, was it worse than before? And how long did you notice breakouts after getting off of it? In my last video, I talked about being on Diane in 2014. And I was on it for seven months in 2014. When I got off of birth control, initially for the first maybe three or four months, it was fine. And I didn't get a lot of acne. My skin was pretty clear. But then I also had a very stressful year in 2015. By 2016, my acne was back. Was it worse than before? I wouldn't say it was worse than before, but my lifestyle and my eating habits were better. So 2016, I was more active. I was eating a little bit healthier. I was still eating high on the glycemic index, but I wasn't eating, like in 2014, when I went on Diane, I was eating hamburgers and French fries and McDonald's and chips and crazy, crazy shit. And then in 2016, I was getting smoothies. Yes, they had a lot of sugar in them, but I was still getting more like natural foods. I was eating sushi, which had a lot of sugar in it, but it was better than the McDonald's burger that I was eating. So it was kind of like my acne was really a reflection of what I was eating rather than if the pill gave me acne. I feel like your body is just going to reset and go back to how it used to be and my body naturally gets acne when I'm not eating healthy. Luna says, I was before on Diane 35 as well, but suddenly I broke out from it, I had to stop, and then I had the worst acne ever for years and I'm still suffering from it. That sounds terrible and I'm really sorry and if you're suffering from acne right now, my advice would be cut out dairy. If you've already cut out dairy, good job. And that's my crappy advice to you. Did you experience an initial purge or breakout on Diane 35? I'm in my fourth cycle right now and my skin still breaks out on it. However, during the seven pill free days, my skin is clear as day. That's interesting. Towards the end of my cycle before my period, my skin is actually pretty clear. I think it's the buildup of hormones that makes my skin look good at that point. Everyone's different. I don't think I experienced an initial surge I just kind of had really bad acne before, so I think my acne was just bad and then it slowly got better with the pill and it also slowly got better because when I went on the pill I also switched up my eating habits, so it kind of just slowly over time got better. I wouldn't say I experienced an initial purge, but I do notice that my skin does look best week three before my period. I've been on Diane 35 for months. I noticed a lot of changes, especially in my period. I was suffering from irregular periods for about three years and heavy bleeding. As a result, I had iron deficiency, anemia, which makes me so tired and pale. But after taking the pills, my period is better now, but I have a lot of hair everywhere in my body, like belly, legs, chest, everywhere. I shave it with a razor and it left a spot behind, which is so bad. I hope you can help me get rid of my excess hair. So the pill will treat different androgen symptoms over time. The pill can help obviously with excess hair. That is a symptom with PCOS. Again, it boils down to eating. I have had excess hair grow just along my jaw here. I've had a lot of excess hair growth when I'm eating bad, when I'm eating sugar, gluten, dairy, everything. I grow a lot of excess hair sort of around here. That has gone away since I switched up my diet. I was on Diane 35 and still eating so bad. And I was using um, a Dermaplane razor on my 
skin, which worked and it didn't leave scars or marks. I would say if you're going to do any hair removal, there's like different pros and cons to hair removal. Waxing pulls on the skin, so that can be hard. Threading apparently also pulls on the skin. Shaving with a razor on your body or on your face, it's gonna grow back more stubbly. Lots of women use laser treatment because laser actually gets, like it kills the hair follicle. So that's something I would recommend, but before anything, I would say you're not gonna have excess hair growth if you get in control of your androgen production in your body. So that means not spiking your insulin levels, not spiking your cortisol levels. Again, bringing it back to diet, bringing it back to exercise, bringing it back to meditation or stress control, be it with supplements or a routine, whatever it is, that will be the thing that actually gets to the root of your issue, pun intended, the root of your hair issue, you know? So eating healthy, for sure. Just take care of your body first. You can do the external stuff, but I think internal is the best way to get rid of that problem forever. Diane will help a bit, but it's not gonna completely solve all the problems. So Angelica is like, what time is best to take it? And the answer is whenever is convenient for you. My doctor said as long as you take the pill every day around the same time, you should have no problems. And Rena says, are you taking metformin along with Diane? Good question. I'm personally not taking metformin. There is a natural form of metformin that I kind of have taken on and off. It's called inositol. It's a supplement. Our bodies, when we're, when we're dominant in male hormones, our bodies create more dechiro inositol and less minositol. So I take a supplement on and off, which I don't know if it really helps. It just, it increases my minositol in my body and it balances out the dechiro inositol. So it's just another hormone balancer. But metformin is great for weight loss. It's great for helping with inflammation and stuff like that. But yeah, diet, diet and exercise. Like truly, you guys, I know this is like, I sound like a broken record, but it's diet and exercise that keeps me not overweight. And that's the truth because I can gain 30 pounds really quick if I don't eat and exercise the way that I do. Hello, so you stopped Diane 35 in 2015 and your acne didn't come back for a long time. Like I said earlier, my acne did come back within six months to a year just because I wasn't eating well and that's the problem and the root of all my acne is making my testosterone production high. And then will you please tell me how your doctor prescribed for you to take Diane 35 on which day of the cycle she told you to take it. I take it on Wednesdays. The pill pack that I have starts on Wednesdays. So I take it on Wednesdays, but you can take it any day. Did you gain weight by using Diane 35? Cause I'm scared of using it. Lots of people are afraid of gaining weight on Diane 35. My thing is if you live a healthy lifestyle, you're just gonna have different distribution. Before I was flat chested. Now I'm a little bit thicker, but you know what? Yeah, I'll show you my body. Cause before I was pretty up and down. Did I gain weight? I have more of a butt. I have boobs now. My arms have a little bit more on them. With that being said, my exercise has also changed. I'm not exercising as frequently because of the pandemic. You can gain weight on this pill. For sure you can. If you are not addressing the root of your PCOS symptoms, you can gain weight on the pill. Lots of women report gaining weight on the pill. But if you're taking care of your body and you're managing all of your hormonal spikes, I don't think that you're going to gain weight or I don't, I think you'll have different weight distribution or different muscle distribution. Your body will shift slightly for sure just because you have a different hormone in your body that it's not used to but I think you can still be a very slender person and be on the pill and okay so I had someone message me today and she asked me if you should be bleeding every month on Diane 35 the answer is yes you should be having a simulated period every month and if you're not bleeding I think it's a really good check for you to ask yourself, why am I not bleeding? What am I doing with my diet? What am I doing with my exercise? Am I really stressed out? Women with PCOS always have their luteinizing hormone being sent down to their ovaries. That's typically why we don't get a period. If we are not bleeding on a pill that is simulating that process, then there's a lot more complicated, not a lot more complications, but there's stuff to be looked into. And again, the only time that happened to me was when I was eating like crap again. 
Yes, you should be bleeding every month on Diane 35. If you're not, check in with yourself. Ask yourself, am I really eating healthy? Am I eating a low glycemic index diet? Am I eating a balanced diet? Am I getting exercise? What am I doing for myself or what am I not doing for myself that allows me to be unhealthy? Because you should be bleeding every month. Another question was, do you think that I can just stop the pill and treat PCOS naturally? And the answer is 100% yes. I think the reason why doctors give us birth control in general is to stop the formation of a cyst. That's why it's called polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. For sure, I think that it, you can absolutely treat your symptoms off of a birth control. I think doctors prescribe it because a cyst bursting can be very painful. It can uh, be a potentially dangerous situation. So that's a very good blanket kind of solution for women with this condition. However, I truly, truly, truly believe that diet, exercise, and meditation, or stress control, however you want to do it, supplementation, I believe wholeheartedly that that is the ultimate solution on or off of birth control for treating your symptoms, without a doubt. I think it's an option to help those symptoms a little bit and help get you on track, but at the end of the day, I think what we eat and what we put into our bodies and how we treat ourselves is the best way to help these symptoms. So I want to thank you guys for all the support that you left me on my first video. Again, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I have it linked in the description box for you. And I just want you guys to know that it sucks to suffer with this. And I totally, completely understand what you're going through because I've had my ups and downs. And if you watch any of my other videos on the channel, you will see that I have suffered with this for a long time. I'm here. If you guys ever want to talk, leave a comment in the description. I love that all of you guys chimed in on each other's comments. And that's kind of the point of creating this PCOS community online is that everybody can have a discussion. And if I can't answer right away, maybe another girl who's been through it can. Thank you guys for your involvement in the comments, for liking my video, for reaching out to me on Instagram. I'll include my Instagram in the description box because if you guys do want to reach out to me and have a chat, I'm more than happy to do that. I have tons of resources in the description for you, as well as my free ebook. If you're just really confused on how to start, my ebook is a really good way for you to just get a general understanding of how to treat things outside of taking a birth control. I know you're gonna get through this time. I know it's hard. It can be depressing. It can be anxiety provoking. These symptoms are not fun. And I think you guys are doing an amazing job. Even watching this video and being proactive enough to do your own research is, such a huge thing. So give yourself a pat on the back for being an advocate for yourself. You're always welcome here. Always welcome to comment. Always welcome to message me. Leave me likes. Let me know that this video helped you. Leave me a comment letting me know this video helped you so I know to make more videos like this. And it would mean a ton if you guys subscribe to me. It gives me the ability to eventually monetize my channel. And the more money I make off the channel, the better the equipment, the better the videos, the better I can help you. So I'll see you in the next video. And I'm wishing you guys a ton of happiness and health. And I love you lots. Bye.